Hello there, Star Wars fans, and welcome to a Rebelscum.com video review. Today, we are reviewing the Star Wars Black Series 6 inch scale gaming greats number one rocket trooper. Now, I don't get why this figure is number one. Number two is Cal Kestis, the new deluxe Cal Kestis with all the awesome accessories. Um, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, I think that would have made a much more appropriate number one to kick off the new Phase 4 packaging of the Star Wars Gaming Greats uh, line. Um, like in the past, the Gaming Greats figures for Black Series are GameStop exclusives if you're here in the States. Um, if you're up in like Canada, for example, I believe it's EB Games, and then I'm not sure where you would get these the more you go out of country from there. But at least here and up north, that's where you can find them. Usually they're available for pre-order in-store and online to an extent, but in case you're not able to find them, well then of course you can go find them with our friends at Order 66 Toys most likely. But here we have the Imperial Rocket Trooper. Now this is an awesome trooper. This is based off its appearance in Star Wars Battlefront 2, the video game, hence the game in Great's release. He has some awesome artwork as I love how they feature the artwork here on uh, on the on the figures here. I love the, their little side panels of artwork and how they continue and go go on. And again, like I mentioned earlier, the next connecting piece is number two, Cal Kestis. And what's nice about not only are they in number order when you put them up, but the artwork goes in order as well. On the back, you have some awesome words and things. And they look great. And if you would like to read those words and things, go ahead and pause this video and read those words and things. There you go. You've got the Gaming Greats sticker right here on the bubble. You also have Gaming Greats right here on the side. And I love the color that they went with. It's kind of like a teal color, like a, like a teal turquoise-ish kind of color for the Gaming Greats color series. But this figure is really cool. Now, this is a repaint, just a repainted release of what was the Rocket Trooper and was also a uh, GameStop exclusive at one point. And the uh, the Jump Trooper is also here for this video. It's another very cool figure. Um, this is basically the infantry version of the Jump Trooper or Rocket Trooper, whichever you want to call it. Um, it's, it's odd to me that this has the uh, the Gaming Greats title, while this is a cool figure for Gaming Greats. Um, I feel that it would have been more appropriate to have had this figure released in the Rebels packaging, because if my memory serves me correctly, and it usually does, uh, this figure in particular, this character, actually first debuted in Season 3 of Star Wars Rebels, as well as the Officer version, which was the Rocket Trooper, or Jump Trooper release, rather. And here that is. So you can see those two side by side. And they're, they're pretty cool. Same mold. They just didn't paint the left shoulder yellow and he doesn't have the yellow stripe going down the center of his fin on his helmet. Uh, he comes with a similar blaster, same model, just your regular E11 blaster rifle. It does fit in his holster. He still comes with the holster just like the, the Jump Trooper did. The only difference between the two in that regard is the holster on the Jump Trooper was painted black, whereas the holster on the Rocket Trooper is solid white. Same jetpack, um, almost no differences there. Uh, the little thrusters here are gray, whereas on the other one they were painted black. Um, other than that, there's really not a whole lot of differences. This figure is fully articulated, just like its previous release. The head is on a ball joint. He's got the little air hoses that plug into his jetpack. The jetpack does unpeg from his back. And I don't know. And it looks like those are in there better. On the uh, on the jump trooper, you could kind of get the air hoses out and put, peg them back in, but it looks like they're a little bit more secured in this one's helmet this time. So I wouldn't try to remove that without caution at least. Uh, fully articulated at the shoulders, just shoulder joints. There it goes, it was just a little stiff. Uh, upper bicep, single jointed elbows, wrists, upper waist. Um, the belt does move around a little bit. It is not a stationary piece. 
Uh, you got those hip joints. He's got good range at the hips. Upper bicep. That's upper bicep. Upper uh, thigh. Double jointed knees and ankle joints. So he can kick his foot back if he needs to. Again, this is an awesome trooper design. This is also one of the playable classes, as I mentioned earlier, in the Star Wars Battlefront 2 multiplayer. You do face off against these guys briefly in the campaign. Um, you don't face them too often, though. It's I think you only encounter them one time that I can recall, and that's on the, uh, the hull of Admiral Versio's Star Destroyer at the end of the game during the Battle of Jakku. Um, you can put his blaster in his holster. I think I might have mentioned that earlier, but you can put that in there. And for comparison, here he is next to his upgraded counterpart in the future, the First Order Jet Trooper. So there he is next to the First Order Jet Trooper. And if you wanna just see all of the fanciful colors there is the uh, pearlescent carbonized First Order Jet Trooper. Here he is with his, here we'll bring his officer back. There's the Jump Trooper release. Again, same figure, just different paint. And then last but not least, we'll go ahead and bring the, uh, they fly now, but in red, there is the Sith Jet Trooper. So there you have them all lined up in red. And that's it, guys. There you have it. There is the new Gaming Greats Imperial Rocket Trooper. Again, this is a really cool figure. Um, it's a nice little repaint. This is another Trooper variant that does appear in other Star Wars canonical media. Again, outside of Battlefront 2, um, I feel like this one would have been more appropriate in Star Wars Rebels packaging versus Gaming Greats. And I also feel like Cal Kessis would have been a number, a better appropriate number one for the uh, gaming grades packaging versus the jump trooper while he or rocket trooper rather while he is cool again i just don't feel like he fits the number one title it's it's that's just my personal preference i don't know maybe maybe i'm just crazy you guys tell me let, let us know in the comments but there you go thank you so much for tuning in guys make sure you like and subscribe here on our youtube channel like and subscribe order 66 toys on their youtube channel Go ahead and give them a like. Go join the official community of rebelscum.com, the community of Star Wars Collectors group on Facebook. If you're on Facebook, find us on Facebook. Please give us a like. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter for all that good stuff and all kinds of awesome news all the time. And that's it for today, guys. So thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you guys later. We'll see you another time. And may the force be with all of you, you rebel scum.